guys, Ed here, and today I will be ripping uh, dust box from the dust bin files using a program called Ohana 3DS. Now, what you want to do is open up your uh, Ohana, your Ohana program. As you can see, I have one here. Go to File, Open. Like this, oh, this first part only applies to if you um. If you uh, actually have the bin files, and so I'll be doing this one. You, you, I'll only be showing you this one. What you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna load up your models, go to models, click the little plus sign. You make sure this one's selected. Click export. Don't worry about the textures. Make sure make sure it's S and D. Do not uh do, make sure none of this is clicked. Uh, find your um. Find your uh, folder you want it in. Click OK. You can rename your model, do whatever. I am just going to keep it as a model because I'm lazy. Then after that, you go to textures, go to import, go find the, the textures. Whoops, this, this is definitely the wrong folder. I, I have quite a few, quite a few folders. You, you want to uh, find the, the textures, as you can clearly see. It looks fine now. Export that. Go to uh, go to the folder you want it in, and you, you just click OK. After that, you would want to uh, open up a Blender, which is what I have. Okay, now that it is open, as you can see, this is the version I'm using, and I have some plugins. I will be leaving a link down in the description where you can get these uh get the plugins that I use here. Now go to file, go to import, go down to the SMD, the engine so the source engine. Go find the folder that your uh your SMD fault my your your SMD model is. So you just load that model in. So you can see. Now just uh, click export to PMX, open up the file, I'm just going to set it in here. You can rename it whatever you want, I usually leave it as untitled for right now. Export to PMX and after that gets done, you just close that out, open up your, uh, your PMD editor or PMX editor, whichever one you use. Now that this is open, I'm just going to enlarge this. Because it, it, it's small. You go over to your dust socks folder. Or, well, not your dust socks folder, but your, uh, whatever folder you have your model in. Your Pokemon model. You open it up. You see it's like, like this. Go here. Make sure this is clicked. Make sure you have all these clicked, usually. Now, this is, a this is like an issue that comes with the everything for the most part. This is just one part is not mirrored at all and look at it. See how it looked uh here? This is how it looks here. Now what you want to do is uh I like I said I'm leaving everything. You need this Pokemon Easy Map tool. Go to select texture. Go to your desktop or wherever you have your uh wherever you have your um your Pokemon textures. Go over to the uh thing. Click uh, this one because this is uh, actually the one that you need. A lot of trial and error, I can tell you that much with uh which one you need. And it's always the same one. You don't have to rename it but I will anyways because it's better on me. Now, now with the remaining, with the edited, uh, mirrored texture, you can definitely see that it's now fixed. As you can see, now it looks just fine. You just do that for all of them. And I'll meet you back here when, uh, I do that. Okay, back. Now I'm just gonna put these in and show you. Uh,
I've already mirrored the rest of them so that you don't have to worry about it. So that I don't have to worry about it. Believe it or not, it's got them off. I, I, yeah. I guess you learn something new every day. Now, this is what I mean. Like, when you uh, do it, uh, when you rip models with the method that I use, it's already rigged. So you don't have to worry about uh, having to rig it. Just make sure that whenever you mess with the bones and stuff, you go here and you click this one right here, which is update. You're, you're definitely going to want to do it for both. After that, you uh, take and you resize it, which is uh, what I'll be doing in the next video, which will be finishing dust tops and showing you what I do. After all, it's not like I haven't done this before, and people keep asking, and I would like some help. Only very few po Pokemon uh, fans in the M&D community help. So sometimes it feels like I'm doing this on my own, which is why it's drastically slowed down. But anyways, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Goodbye!